bubbles. Oh, waited so long to do this. Screen, which oh. that this module is for testing 18650 and for charging and for discharging for everything that you want to do with your battery all right turning on take a look at that LCD screen you have voltage amperes watts milliampere hours you have milliwatt hours, you have time, start, stop, mode, DCG, stop 3 volts, loop 1, on discharging 3.3 volts, wanna send loop only 1, and this button is start, look, it's discharging this battery with 1 ampere, and I'm, and I'm gonna do that on the till 3.3 volts and here are all the measurements in milliampere hours milliwatt hours the resistance is 67 milliohms the time beautiful when you plug in the type c cable from the left side this battery is charging and you can see that it's pulling around maybe 250 milliamperes which is super nice and healthy for the battery so to be clear this battery from the left side is for powering the module because it's a portable and from the right side we have a testing battery with beautiful LCD screen every measurement is there but can we charge the battery while discharging? yes and you can see on my tester that is pulling 300 milliampers and this battery is charged right now okay finally bubbles I love bubbles Ooh. Oh. okay and here it is what it says multifunctional flashlight Immediately, it's feeling nice in the hand. I love this detail at gadget with transparent clear piece so you can see the integrated chips, the LEDs and the printed sucker board. I love that detail. On the bottom we have two magnets and Type-C charging port and it says that it's power bank but I can't believe it can this thing can charge your phone maybe in emergency but you can rotate 180 degrees that is beautiful turning on and with one press you activate the front light and take a look at that display it shows 81 percent full one more time high low blinking and how to turn on this with one press you activate the front light high low blinking and turning off and when you hold it you have warm white light red blue police turning off service and you want to attach it here you go. It's strong. I will see how much milliampere is pulling while charging. Oh, and beautiful. We have a flashing charging sign on the display. And it's pulling 700 milliampere. And I'm going to plug into my phone. And yes, it's charging with 800 milliampers 
and police lights. And I got it. The pack without bubbles. We have the instruction manuals. Here's some blue things. And a hose. I got bubbles. Nice solar panel, small. If you love your garden, this gadget is just for you. Believe me, this thing is doing a big job. It says that have 1500 milliampers battery, automatic timing, wat waterproof, water saving and environmental protection. Okay, watering time from 1 to 30 minutes you can choose and adjust and interval time 3, 6, 12 to 7 days you can set it. Put this button. Can you hear it? The, the pump is working. We have a small channel where the water travel and go right here and go into the soil. That is beautiful. Like this. One, two, can you see it? Look, the solar watering system with the pump is doing a great job. And we have a halfway empty tank. Timer is set on two minutes for every day, but you can change that. And of course, I got it. No bubbles. Oh, disappointed. The instruction manual for solar flashlight for bicycle. Short very poor quality type C cable for charging the device okay we have the button push button whoa that is pretty loud all right I need to measure with my decibel meter okay this is my cheap decibel meter and I set to the maximum. Let's check the decibels. 115 decibels. Back we have the Type-C connector for charging the unit, which is nice. Let's remove this thing. 9, 10. 10 cells times 0 0.5 volts is 5 volts. And how many milliampers we don't know that. Okay, let's turn on. This is the left LED. Now are the, the bolt. We have low, flashing, and turning off. One. Yep. 480 milliampers. Is it good? Mm. And now with my very powerful flashlight I will... What it says? 29, 30 milliampers. 32 milliampers, 33, 32. Alright. And take a look. On the battery it says that it's 1200 milliampers. But I can't believe it in that. I need to make a capacity test. Maybe I will do that in next videos. Or, or better solution is to replace this battery with better one. Beautiful. Working. Yes. Flashlight. Good. 
different colors in transparent, orange. This is pink with orange, purple with blue. Oh yeah. Ooh. Take a look at that purple with blue color on the transparent case and it's smooth, I can feel that the plastic is nice. So let me tell you something about this gadget, besides it have a compass on the top of the gadget, on the bottom we have a flashlight and I love the transparent case where you can see the, the electronics. Also we have a LED display for battery indicator, the power button, alright, let's turn on, with one press of the button you activated the light and it's pretty strong, here it is showing the, it's dropping very fast, why 77? 76 75 maybe it's not charged never mind flashing LED and that's it all right high low flashing twitch right here you need to turn this down press it oh I love it that oh we have the type C charging port right here <coughs> that's why I can't see it we need to open it and charge it right here and we have a LED effect meaning that it's turned it on can you see the arc? Ooh. open then very fast time for testing it says that is waterproof Okay, let's power on. Woo! Working, of course. Beautiful. Yes! Okay. And what it says? 200 milliampers. That is not too much, but depends on of how much big is the battery inside. And I'm gonna do a video review, another video review of that. I'm gonna disassemble the whole gadget. Is it possible? Let's find out. What? Look, it's melting soldering tin.